All right, let's understand some standard differences between a junior and a senior engineer. What happens if you stay in the industry for a long time, don't go down the manager route, remain an individual contributor, still code? What are the common traits you'll see these people exhibit compared to when they started? I've myself started coding around eight, nine years ago, and there are some standard things that I was doing wrong. And eventually with time, learned them myself. Through this video, I want to share a few of these, although a lot of these you will learn as you spend some time in the industry. Let's get right into it. Number one, being strong from the inside and not from the outside. No show off. One common trait that I've seen in beginners is there's this very inherent need to prove something. I know something special. A good example of this is, you'll always see beginner coders argue over random technologies just because they write something somewhere. Versus, usually you'll see senior engineers be extremely quiet. For some reason, they tend to stay to themselves. And if you ask them a question, they have a good answer to it, but they never argue. They're pretty complacent and happy with their knowledge. And they don't necessarily impose that on other people. So if you are a beginner, learn to listen more and talk less. This will serve you not just in your coding journey, but otherwise. Point two, understanding business priorities. As a beginner, it feels extremely fancy to work on the best technology. A good example here is, during one of my live streams, someone said, Harkirat, why are you using React? Next is the faster framework. And the answer there was, you don't really need Next for this specific use case. There will always be a fancier technology. There will always be a faster framework. But as a senior engineer, there are a few things you keep in mind while picking up a technology. Some of these include, do you really need a fancier technology or will this just mess up the code base? Is there enough engineering talent that you can get? For example, Rust is extremely hard to hire for. So if there is a use case that just works in Node.js, it'll probably be easier to find cheaper engineers in Node compared to Rust. And lastly, speed. Whatever gets you off the ground as quickly as possible initially, and as long as it can be maintained later on, a lot of times, especially in startups, that's the right choice to take. And you'll never see a senior engineer picking up the fanciest technologies. They're still writing extremely clean and maintainable code, but a lot of times skipping out on a few things to get off the ground. Point number three, the job slash compensation anxiety. This you will especially see in college, including me. I think there's a lot of anxiety around who got into Google, who got the highest package and how I missed out on an extra five LPA. I can tell you with time does not matter. There are a few reasons for this. Reason number one is you prioritize a bunch of other things like family and health over money, especially smaller increments. And secondly, you tend to reach some sort of a ceiling after a few years and the upside isn't too much. If you're moving from three LPA to 10, that's a big jump. 10 to 30 is a big jump. 30 to 1 CR probably in India is a great jump. After that, the jumps are minimal and they don't change your lifestyle too much. Also, beyond a point, people don't care too much about the money. They tend to prioritize equity and where they're working on a little bit more. Point number four, incredibly calm at giving feedback. One thing again, I'll see junior engineers be extremely aggressive and, and looking down upon and giving feedback to another engineer versus a senior engineer is extremely chill. I don't know if you've ever had a conversation, but I've had many one-on-ones. If you've made a mistake, checked in some wrong code, caused an outage, you're never being scolded. Versus if you're a junior engineer or someone who has just began leading a team, it feels very teachy and powerful to, you know, throw your opinion at someone. But in the end, we're all humans. And I think the best way, at least in tech, to get the most out of humans is to be polite. I think good engineers are generally self-reflective. If they've caused an outage, they're already feeling pretty bad about it. And a senior engineer knows that. So you will never find them being extremely teachy. That said, uh, if you do outperform a little too much, I think they're the first ones to ask you to get fired. Point number five, being extremely calm and focused during an outage. I don't know if you've ever had the pleasure of going through a real world outage, but when that happens, the worst thing you can do is panic. The worst thing you can do is blame other people. The goal is to fix it and bring it up as soon as possible. During that time, you will find a senior engineer being extremely focused at the same time, extremely funny. At least that's been my experience. For the first time, you'll find them being extremely happy, funny, and you know, take, making a lot of jokes, probably is some sort of a coping mechanism. But during that time, you'll see the best side of a senior engineer because they're very focused at the same time, not blaming anything on anyone, trying to fix the problem as soon as possible. Last point. They code a little bit at least every day. I think the best engineers I've known take a very big break, like a six, not a six week, two week, three week break from time to time. And during that time, they're usually with their families and you know, chilling. But other than that, I've seen them being active a little too much. I'm not saying this is good practice, uh, but you know, you'll find them online on a weekend. You'll find them checking in code sometimes on a weekend or reviewing code. Debatable if it's good or bad, if I'm being honest, it's seen in a very bad light, at least in the industry to work on the weekend because it forces everyone to work on the weekends. 
एनीवेज दे वुड बी कोडिंग ऑन द वीकेंड ऑलो दर जनरली कॉशियस ऑफ नॉट टैगिंग पीपल एंड अग्रेसिवली टेलिंग अदर पीपल के प्लीज फिक्स दिस बट नॉट ऑन द वीकेंड ड्यूरिंग द वर्क ऑलो यूल ऑलवेज सी दम चेकिंग इन कोड वेरी क्वाइटली एंड नॉट टैगिंग एनी वन एंड इन फैक्ट दी ऑपोजिट टेलिंग अदर पीपल के प्लीज डोंट वर्क ऑन दिस ड्यूरिंग द वीकेंड वन एवर योर डे स्टार्ट ऑन मंडे प्लीज टेक सम टाइम टू फिक्स दिस इशू यूल जनरली फाइंड दिस पीपल एज द एज द पापा पर्सनैलिटीज ऑफ द इंजीनियरिंग टीम एंड इट्स जनरली प्री फंड टू बी अराउंड सच पीपल Because of a few things. Number one, the experience. Number two, the humility. Number three, how calm, composed they are generally. And number four, uh, their speed of checking in code is also pretty nice. Cool. With that, that's all the point I had. Eventually, aim to become this person. A lot of these things you cannot force; they come with time. But if there is one thing you take from this video, it's humility. No matter how big of an engineer you think you are, when you become a senior engineer, you'll see them be extremely humble when giving feedback and when reviewing other people's code. With that, let's end it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.